thousands of bays, headlands and peninsulas, and more than 1,000 islands shape Britain's shores. The 11,000 miles of the United Kingdom's coastline is more broken than many maritime countries on Earth. Our waters and shores are a sanctuary to many migrant and resident species. These havens play host to some of the most amazing events within the natural world. Each year, in late autumn, one of those spectaculars takes place along the east coasts. The birth of Atlantic grey seals. Finally managed to get uh, some coffee made and myself ready. The stuff in the car. Um, it's just gone past one o'clock now, so um, yeah, the car was absolutely covered in, in a, a frost, uh, glittering. Probably about minus three degrees at the moment. Um, got about a four-hour drive down to the coast. That's the problem with living in Staffordshire, unfortunately. I'm going to wait for the car to be frost. I'm going to drive only as far as, as uh, a colleague of mine, Jason's. Um, he's going to drive the rest of the way where hopefully I'll be able to get an extra couple of hours sleep because if I'm honest, I've probably had about less than an hour um, of actual sleep time. But yeah, um, the forecast is looking really good for today. Hopefully it remains like that um, for a lovely sunrise down on the coast. Um, I'll see you down there. Well, we managed to get here in time for the sunrise anyway, just about. There's uh, a few seals about, not so many pups yet, a little bit early in the season, but yeah, there's a... Uh, one or two pups kicking about. Got everything weatherproofed up in here. Um, so the two times converter on the 300, making sure we keep a, a real, real distance away, um, ensuring that we're not getting too close to the seals. Um, we just need the sun to, to just come up a touch more. And if we could get that to just come up a touch more, um, we might be getting some lovely backlit shots. Um, yeah, we're, we're at uh, a good 100, 120 yards away, so um, in a safe zone, fingers crossed. Gonna grab a cup of coffee that Jace is gonna make in his jet bar, and uh, we're hopefully gonna some beautiful pictures of the seals. For much of the year, these sand dunes are a quiet habitat for wading birds. Yet, for three months over winter, they're transformed. Despite numbers dropping to less than 500 in the 20th century, throughout November until January, 120,000 grey seals now arrive upon the UK's coast to give birth to their pups. The pups are not yet waterproof and rely solely on the 60% fat rich milk from mop. Once weaned, the cows return to the ocean to fish. Pups remain on land until they have molted their white coats and treble their birth weight. Although seals have very little predators in the UK, 
as little as 50% of all pups will not survive their first year. Starvation, due to difficulties in learning to feed, appears to be the main cause. However, recent studies have shown that the 300 kilogram weight of the bull will kill and cannibalize pups. Potentially, this is a way of increasing reproductive success for them. For this young pup, Life in the first year will be difficult, but the UK's coastline gives them the greatest chance. Wow, that was a fantastic sunrise. Absolutely beautiful. Um, well, it's now 26 hours of being away and four hours of driving um, to get to the coast. I haven't done seals for probably four years. Um, last time I went to Donald and, and I hated the experience of the forest and hospital. Um, this is something special. I haven't seen another person apart from um, Jason out the um, at the beach. Each of them uh, agreed to ourselves apart from the seals and, and stayed at 600 metres. Um, not big in the frame either to, to give them plenty of space. A really quiet area. The seals down here but absolutely were not having hundreds of seals and just having you know the handful that we've got down here it's, um, it's, it's so much better so it's just breaking through the clouds it's time for a cup of coffee because i'm absolutely knackered i could just have a little sleep right on this journey here. and then um, i'm going to go through some of the kit that I've, I've been using to wash um, Korea as well and the performance rates have, have been fantastic you know um, so let's go and grab that brew. 